Gingrich with Chris Wallace on Sunday calling out Hillary Clinton. Uh, the short-circuited answer about a question from Chris Wallace. Uh, that has lived now for eight days, believe it or not. The former House Speaker says Clinton found a new way, as you heard, to lie about lying. Well, Marianne Marsh, former senior advisor to Secretary of State John Kerry, Katie Pavlich, news editor for townhall.com and a Fox News contributor. And ladies, good morning uh, to both morning. of you. Um, let's not talk past each other, ladies. Uh, Marianne, <laughs> you be direct. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt here. What did she mean when she was talking about short-circuited? I think any fair-minded person heard that comment, and it had everything to do with her answer, that she short-circuited the answer and didn't fully answer the question. And I think that's what that meant. Instead, Trump has now used this to launch very personal attacks against her as his polls have plummeted. And I expect, frankly, that not only will Trump only increase these attacks, they're going to become okay, even but, more well, reckless well, back, back and more the, personal, back, and I say, think it hurts him. Just say it one more time. I'm just trying to keep this straight in my head. I don't know if it is, yeah. is, or was before. before. Now, what's your interpretation again? That, that, that she it did was, not had give everything a, to do with her answer. Right. But that, <laughs> she didn't sorry. fully answer that what Chris Wallace was asking her, period. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. M meaning she was referring to the interview she gave with the FBI and not everything else that had been spoken prior, correct? Yes, I think, Bill, the, the, Hillary Clinton hurts herself here by not saying the following. She could end all this by simply always saying, I made a mistake, it will never happen again, period. Okay. That's uh, where the confusion uh, comes thick in. Thick as mud, Katie, go. Well, we don't have time to go through all of the times Hillary Clinton has lied about her use of a private email server to host top secret classified information. From the beginning at that first UN press conference that she held, she lied to the American people when she said there was never any any classified information sent or received. FBI Director James Comey thoroughly debunked that. The Washington Post is now uh, essentially, you know, they've given uh, Hillary Clinton four Pinocchios uh, and, and fact checkers all over the country multiple times are saying just stop lying. But here's the problem. Hillary Clinton can't admit that she sent classified information because that would be admitting to a crime. And the problem with lying is you have to continually remember your lies. So in the interview with Chris Wallace, when she's trying to figure out, did I lie to the FBI? Did I lie to the American people? Which lie am I trying to get straight here? That's when she sort short circuits, and that's when she gets her okay. stories crossed. Just so for our audience, here's it from Friday afternoon. I'm going to play it one more time. Watch here and listen. I have said um, during the interview and in many other occasions over the past months, uh, that what I told the FBI, which he said was truthful, is consistent with what I have said publicly. So I may have short-circuited it, and for that I, uh, you know, will try to clarify because I think, you know, Chris Wallace and I were probably talking past each other. Okay, now, 250 days, Marianne, since she's held a press conference. <laughs> um, I, I guess that's the evidence as to why it has been that long. Well, I think she answered plenty of questions here, and in the, in the process, this is what happened. But I think the big difference here, Bill, is between what Katie is saying and what Donald Trump and Newt Gingrich and others are saying. Katie's going after Hillary Clinton on substance. Fine, so be it. I disagree with her, but she's entitled to that. What Trump and Gingrich and others are doing are going after Hillary Clinton personally. These are very personal attacks, and they are going to increasingly become personal because Trump is now engaging in a high-low strategy. He's to, giving an economic, to, economic speech today, but going after her very right, personally, and I think that's emphasize, very dangerous ground. But, but what Katie's saying is that you have to remember what you said so you don't get caught in it yet again. Right. And what I just played for you well, is, is an example as to why perhaps there has not been a press conference in 250 days. Right, because let's not forget about the last press conference she held when she had that horrible moment where she said, what did I wipe my server with, a cloth or something? I mean, that was the last press conference that we had with Hillary Clinton, and it made her look very bad because her inconsistencies and her lies about the email server are certainly catching up to her. And let's not forget that although Hillary uh, last Friday said that the FBI director is claiming that everything she said to the FBI was accurate and truthful, we have no proof of that because the FBI didn't record the interview. We don't have a transcript of the interview. And based on Hillary's uh, record of lying about everything when okay. it comes to this issue, I'm not so sure that I agree Katie. or believe her that she okay. would tell I, the truth I to think, the FBI. I think we've done a pretty good job of not talking past one another. 
Um, <laughs> but I'm still looking for an explanation on how this is defined. Ladies, thanks for now. It, Katie, thanks. Marianne, okay. we've got to run. Appreciate it. Happy Monday. All thanks, right. Bill. Okay, thanks.